Mom. Oh, Lulu. Is that you, honey? Yeah, I'm sorry. I know it's late. Oh, that's okay. Come on in. Turn on the lights. Are you sure this is okay? Yes. It's all right. I was awake a lot, too. I was thinking about you. I just can't even believe that this is happening, that you are here. <laughs> it's a very hard day for you. And there have been so many times when I haven't been able to be there for you. I really want to help you now. Well, that's the thing. I just I don't even know if you can. Mm. I can't do this. <sighs> there you go. There have been more times that I can count where I've felt trapped and helpless and, and even hopeless. And that's the worst because that, that one little word, hope, it's like a life raft that you can hold on to when things get really tough. Mm -hmm. I thought whenever you felt like that, you would pull some trick out of that big bag Dad said you always carried around. Oh, yeah. There was that. <laughs> but hope, honey, is sometimes a decision. You know, it's a state of mind and, and of heart. Well, mine kind of doesn't work together well, or at least when it should. You know, I listen to you and sometimes I just shudder because you're so hard on yourself. Hard on myself? Yes. Look at what I've done to Logan, to Johnny, to me, and they weren't my first casualties. And they probably won't be your last. You know why? You're human. You make mistakes. We all make mistakes, honey, and that's good. That's how we learn. It's true. It, 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 oh, I wish there was some way I could give you perspective. And hope. You know about the time that I was held captive by the Cassidines on that island, right? By that horrible man who called himself Nicholas's father. It was... One of the worst times in my life. All I wanted was to go home and to see Luke. So I just sat in my room night after night and I stared out the window into the darkness and then the thoughts would start and the panic would rise and sometimes I would even just go out and walk the halls in the middle of the night. But no matter where I started, I always ended at the same spot. Where? The nursery. I would go in and I'd stand over Nicholas's crib and would look down at my beautiful little baby, so perfect, such a miracle. And then I'd put my hand on his little chest and I could feel his breathing slow and even and then my breathing would start to slow. My heart would stop pounding out of my chest and a peace would just sort of wash over me. And I felt hope. And when I walked out of that room, I always left stronger than when I came in because I knew that Nicholas was a blessing to me, but I didn't realize then how much. It's not just that he's grown into a fabulous man and, and that he's a wonderful brother to you, but honey, he saved your life. He was the only donor, the only match when you were sick. So you see, I had to go through all of that misery so that there would be a baby Nicholas who could one day save my beautiful baby Lulu. You see? Out of something horrible, something wonderful happened. And that's how it is when we least expect it. That's how it works. That's perspective. I think I understand what you're talking about. As awful as everything has been, it still got me in this place right when you were waking up. And it gave us this time together, time that I've needed so much. I'm so sorry you had to go through this awful time. You know, if I could trade places with you, I would. 
But I wouldn't be learning anything that way, would I? That's mm. it. That's right. You heard me that time. <laughs> good, good. I'm proud of you. I don't know what for. Because you're handling this all so much better than you realize. And I wish I could take the credit for it. But I can't. Oh, come on. I know you don't listen to me very often. Oh, I know. I didn't listen to my mother either. Oh. It's true. I mean, I think we all have to figure things out in our own time. And you're doing that now, and you will do it more and more often, with or without me. I'm always going to need you, Mom. And I will always love you, my precious little daughter. Honey, don't tell Grandma that I didn't listen to her. <laughs>